Hey guys, I'm back with another YouTube video. I want to talk to you about this. So, how did I get fat? Well, it started this way. When I was in Dublin Airport, right, the parents were saying, Keen, you better bring in a lunch with you. Because if you don't bring in a lunch with you, you're going to be as fat as a fool in fucking McDonald's and in frickin' fucking Burger King there again, chubby and overweight, to be fair, you know. So please do not eat McDonald's. You can have it once or twice, but not every fucking day, alright? Yeah, yeah, fine. And then, well, what did I do? What did I do? Tell us. I got fat as a fool. Basically. Did you actually? Yeah, yeah, literally. So this, this is what happened, right? I had to go at lunchtime all the time trying out different burgers in McDonald's. Literally. All the time, every single day, five days a week, I was in that place, to be honest with you. I love McDonald's. I actually got addicted to it, actually, to be fair with you, you know. I actually like the fries in there so good, and the fresh ones, oh my god. You want to stay all there and eat them all day, to be fair, you know. Then at um, kind of like dinner time, whatever, I took a sneaky way and then uh, went in got mcdonald's on the bus on the way home didn't tell the parents or anything and then they didn't even know at all my dinner that night still and then i was like literally hmm, what what they don't know won't hurt them so that's what i done and then once then, they seen a little uh, baby popping out of me as a joke. Said, like, you know, I didn't know you were pregnant. And then that's when I said, like, yeah, it must be all the fucking McDonald's green and all those chocolate bars, huh? I guarantee you, guarantee you. you, you since when did you bring in lunch into the airport, actually? And then I was caught red-handed then. And you know what? Then I didn't even listen to them. I said, ah, fuck off. Would you annoy me? I said to myself, you know. And then I just carried on my merry little way, basically. Because I was saying to myself, sure, look, we have burgers and chips at home. You know what I mean? So what's the difference? Mince and beef. You know what I mean? And then it turns out then, yeah, but they had on grease and everything. Get back pills. Oh shit. So what happened then? So what happened was then. I done that. And then. What size were you then Kino? Back in the day when you were in Dublin airport. Me? Oh Jesus Christ. What was your normal one actually? Me? Mine was um I was sixty kg. Yeah, that's my normal weight, you know. And then I went down to seventy kg, eighty kg and ninety kg was the very highest. Really oh god. And I actually noticed that boy, I'm telling you, when I went up those stairs the floor creaked and creaked and creaked. I said to myself, Jesus Christ, what? You're almost fat as your father. They're going up those stairs. We can hear the floor creaking upstairs. And that's how I knew that. I was like, Jesus, you are over. I said, dude, you can actually feel the floorboards squeeching, squelching upstairs. Like, I know, like, I noticed this myself. I was saying, you know, I was like, Jesus Christ, you can hear the floorboards squeaking up, up here. I say, Jesus. And then I just complain, it's like, 
Dude, I think, parents, I think you need new floorboards upstairs or something because they're not very, um, you know, heavy-duty ones, you know? I was like, excuse me, you're the one that's fucking heavy. I was like, yeah, true. I was like, it's like, look at your father, like, he makes a squeak all the time, but he's used to it, you know? And, like, in your bedroom now, you make the floor squeak and squeak and squeak. Because you're so fucking heavy. You're not the KG keen. You're supposed to be 60 or maybe 59 KG. Fuck's sake. Like, you're almost 100. Literally nearly, you know? Like, all you have to do is eat a couple more burgers and you're 100 kg. Oh shit, it's like, oh yeah. And then once I noticed how I was fitting into my my clothes and I was like, ah, I'm not that fat, fuck's sake. And then it turned out that it's like, oh shit, I actually am. I can't even fit into half of my clothes here. And then I had to go shopping again for for a large hoodie, large pants, more medium-sized pants nearly. You know, my underwear didn't even fit me either. I had to go into a medium section there for that as well. Oh, my God. It was unbelievable. I was just like, jeez, I'm not that fucking fat. And then once uh, the parents took a photo of me, yeah, it's like, dude, yeah, this is what you look like back in the day that you keep fucking saying, okay, and now this is you now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Look at your chin. It's like a Chinese phone book. Oh, all right. And then, after that, then, dropped the airport like a sack of potatoes. Then... Anyway, I didn't even uh, like the supervisors in there. They're all like one of those people that are like, I worked myself up on the biggest brick in the world. So I said, ah, fuck this place, seriously, fuck this place. So I left, you know. Hate those type of people. I just do, I always hated them from the start. Those uh, people like, like n- not like telling you what to do. I don't mind that. That's normal, you know. Because your man, your real manager that hired you will be saying, "Go do this, go do that." True, true. I'm talking about like you're sick. You don't have to be a prick about it. You know what I mean you don't have to get worked up about it? You know what I mean? Do that now, please, please, please. As I was like, I am doing it. What do you see me doing here? Sitting down or something? Mother of God, like, and then I just said, I hear, fuck this place, like, seriously. You know? And then, after that, then, I said, here, you know what? I bet my weight, I'm actually going to the local GA club gym and lose a couple of pounds. And then I'd done that, then, yeah. So I went hell in for leather. I didn't do uh, the YouTube videos on it or anything like that. Because I just wanted to lose fucking weight, to be honest with you. Like, and plus as well, right? I wasn't actually comfortable in my body, you know, of being overweight. Oh, it's so uncomfortable. Literally. So I know some people are so used to it and all. But, like, the thing is, though, trust me. When people are saying, oh, you're going to the gym and all, yeah? Jesus, you're nice and big. You know, as it's like, it's just like a slagging term of like, go to the fucking gym, you fat fuck. Really, you know? Oh, absolutely. You know? And then that kind of puts you down and all. So I just said, ah, here, fuck this. I've already been to the gym there twice today. There like that. Literally today, you know. Back in the day, to be fair. And then I was like, oh, lovely. I'm going down the weighing scales. Thank fuck. Like that. And then I actually kind of had to, like, stop having so much food at home. As in, just having a couple of foods. Basically, as in, like, right, just have dinner, no snacks. Have breakfast and all, okay? Because you you already have lunch in your work 
your new workplace you know what i mean so what's the point true 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 so there's no mcdonald's back then for me or anything like that or takeaways or anything there the parents actually stopped doing the takeaways and everything like that so i was just like what are we having tonight we're we going out like no we're not we're having steak and salad okay like that literally steak and salad was like like almost like four days a week nearly why because i need i need to lose weight and all you know no chips or anything no 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 just salad more salad than usual and then a salad with pork chops and salad with this salad with that is that because of all of you keen it basically was yeah yeah get more green into me oh my god it was a painful it was and then after a while then they actually just gave up then you know and then what i've done is then i said here you don't feel comfortable in this do you no no i actually don't and then i said here i'm going back to being skinny so bit by bit by bit i get in there you know but I'm in the genetics to up to date year now, year 2022, okay, is that I haven't been in the gym for like two years now because of COVID and all that bollocks, so now I'm actually thinking about going back to the gym, lose a bit more weight, basically, and get back to my skinny self again, and plus I'm telling you, it's actually good to actually lose weight, lose them a couple of pounds, because you can run faster, basically, you're not carrying the heavier weight around there, you wouldn't think it though, it's like, well, I'm still fit when I'm chubby, I think, yeah, but you're carrying that weight around as well, if you were skinnier, yeah, you'd actually run faster, Oh yeah, that's right, actually. Yeah, it's kind of like someone dragging you and you can still pull them while they're dragging you. True, true, true. So then, I'm going back to the gym soon now in uh, year 2022. Near Christmas time, I'm going back in the gym because the gym then I can use a lot more and everything because it be open almost every day, early-ish there, around like 2 to, two to midnight and all. So basically, I would have to do my own thing and everything. And then I'll be the king then. Are you actually going to video yourself doing the keno as well? Oh, absolutely. I'll be doing like some weights that I can lift and all there for you. And the people say like, oh my god, you're actually a good weightlifter. Oh my god. There like that. Post it up on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook as normal uh, guys and girls. Just to let you know. And I'll see you in the next video.